Sorry I'm late guys. I've just been so tired lately. I just feel like I've had such low energy. I've just had so much work to do. Or have I? So we're going to talk about work today. When we use the word work in physics, we mean it in a different context than we mean in everyday life. When we talk about work in physics, we're talking about moving things and using energy. In our line of work, pun intended, work is the energy that is used to exert a force on something to move at a distance. For instance, moving a box across a floor takes work, but Sitting in my car for 13 hours does not take work. Well, from me anyway. When I'm driving, my car is doing the work. I'm just sitting there, so I'm not applying a force on anything. However, my car's engine is applying a force on the axles to turn the wheels, so work is being done. Our equation for work is W equals F times D, or work is equal to force times distance. We saw this in simple machines but we're gonna take a look at it again. We didn't talk about work very much then, so we need to understand what the unit is. We use the symbol W for work, and work is measured in joules, the abbreviation being J. Joules are the units for any kind of energy, and there's a lot of different kinds. If we're talking about work and force and distances, how does this relate to electricity? Well, a battery or any other power supply does work on a circuit to move that energy to where it needs to be. So it's still being applied, just in a different sense. Because of this, we use a separate equation when we talk about electricity. We use a different unit that's more useful for us. We use power. Power is the rate that work is done over time, or it's how much energy is used up in the system. Our equation for power is P equals W over T or power is equal to work over time, which makes sense since it's the rate that our work is being done. We can also define power using another equation. Power is equal to current times voltage, or P equals I times V. This is more helpful for us in the context of talking about circuits. Either way, our units for power are watts. So depending on what information is given to us, we can solve for power in a few different ways. So let's look at some example problems. Suppose we put 500 joules of work into moving a box, 20 meters. How much force was applied? Well, work is equal to force times distance. So if we divide both sides by D, we get an equation F equals W over D. If we plug in our information, we would get that there was 25 newtons of force. What if we were looking for the power? Well, we use the information that we just found and plug it into the P equals W over T equation, and we get our answer to be 100 watts. Let's do another problem. Let's say that we have a voltage of 9 volts, a power of 210 watts, and we're looking for the current. Well, then we start with P equals I times V. We divide both sides by the voltage, and we get our equation to be I equals P over V. If we plug in our power and our voltage, we get the current to be 23 amps. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video with us. We hope you learned something. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. For more awesome engineering videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.